The rough-skinned newt found in the Pacific Northwest has a unique relationship with the bullfrog. Let's see what happens when they come face to face. So, why did the bullfrog die in this video? The rough-skinned newt of North America contains a deadly toxin, tetrodotoxin or TTX, that results in the death of the bullfrog. This toxin works to block the sodium channels within highly excitable tissues, such as muscles. The mechanism is through binding to the channels, inhibiting the opening of these channels. The effect that this has on the tissue is often detrimental. Sodium is an important ion in the initiation of an action potential. In order for an action potential to propagate along an axon and from nerve to nerve to initiate muscle contraction, sodium must first depolarize the cell. This depolarization occurs when positively charged sodium ions rush into the cell, causing the voltage of the cell to increase drastically. This is followed by positively charged potassium ions rushing out of the cell, causing the voltage of the cell to decrease, repolarizing the cell. The continuation of this ion transfer and voltage change causes the action potential to move along the axon. Once it reaches the synapse of the neuron, a transmission of neurotransmitters allows for muscle contraction or other bodily responses within tissues. If sodium channels are blocked, action potentials cannot fire. The initial rise in voltage or depolarization does not occur if sodium is not allowed to enter the cell. If action potentials do not occur, then there is no activation of muscle contraction or relaxation at the terminal end. This creates an immobilization of the tissues in which the sodium channels were blocked. When an animal is inflicted with this toxin, it can be deadly, leading to death due to immobilization of respiratory muscles and the diaphragm. So why did the rough skin newt acquire this deadly toxin? As a defense mechanism, the common garter snake is the most common predator to the rough skin newt. However, the garter snake has an amount of resistance to the TTX toxin of the newt due to genetic inheritance or buildup over time. In response to this resistance, the newt continues to evolve with a higher and higher level of toxicity. The toxicity level of some newts is so high that it could kill numerous humans, let alone hundreds of smaller predators to the newts. As of now, there is also no treatment plan for those inflicted with TTX, besides observation. The severity of TTX symptoms depends on the dosage amount. A low dosage may cause muscle spasms or temporary paralysis, while a high dosage can cause death.